Thank you, Glenn Falls Trust, for having us here today to be part of this discussion. Uh, we're very happy to be part of this uh, extraordinary effort that's happening with the falls. Uh, as many of you know, Fort Lauderdale General Electric as a utility. However, we're much more than that. Uh, we serve a little over 887,000 customers in 51 cities throughout Oregon, uh, including the Willamette Falls area. Uh, what you might not know is that basically we got our clean energy roots here at Willamette Falls. Uh, and this is a map here. This is um, PG. So this is our ownership. The hash marks that you see here um, are related to our Federal Energy uh, Regulatory Commission licensing. Um, so that's our ownership. Um, <clears throat> so we know that uh, clean, renewable energy uh, is good for everyone. Uh, for Oregon, it means healthier air and water, and it's vital to the effects of fighting climate change. Uh, we are proud of our carbon-free generation plants like the T.W. Sullivan plant that you see out there on the west Lynn side. Uh, it's one of our oldest renewable energy plants, and it is the third oldest uh, hydropower plant uh, in the nation. Uh, despite its age, though, uh, it's uh, remarkably forward-focused infrastructure, as it uh, is crucial in helping us work toward being 50% carbon-free in just a few years. PGE's history is intrinsically tied to the Lima Falls. Uh, Portland General Electric's predecessor was founded there uh, on June 3, 1889, and uh, it produced the nation's first long-distance transmission of electricity um, from the falls all the way to uh, Portland streetlights, 14 miles away. Uh, that created the first power grid in the nation. That transmission helped spur the growth of the modern city, uh, one that includes streetlights, electric trolleys, and lighting storefronts and homes. It also powered the modern, modernization of industry, including the paper mill that operated alongside our TW power plant, our hydro plant, for 130 years up until just last year. In 1953, the plant took the name of the PGE hydraulic engineer that designed the facility, T.W. Sullivan. We generated 16 megawatts of power then, and we still do today. And that's enough to power approximately 11,000 homes. That industrial history is a really important story, a really important part of the William Falls history. Like many others here today, we have deep roots here and we are deeply, uh, we deeply care about the area's future. Uh, through the years, we've made updates to ensure that our system is resilient. The plant's history has led us uh, to make upgrades that will uh, reflect the historical fabric of the plant, uh, because the interplay between history and modernity here is very intriguing. Uh, it's important to us that future plans uh, for the area reflect the historical legacy of the site, which includes many, many different stories and histories. It's an honor to be a part of Oregon's history and future. And to PGE, being a part of that history and future means being good stewards of both the natural and the cultural resources that are associated here with the falls. Our stewardship is exemplified through our commitment through and culture through providing clean energy to our customers, reducing carbon, carbon emissions, uh, thereby enhancing the quality of life uh, for the communities that we serve. For decades, we've conducted research on Pacific lamprey, and we've worked hand-in-hand -hand with the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife to maintain a fish ladder uh, that provides safe passage for salmon uh, that's been constructed on the west side of the river. We've also installed a flow, control, a flow control structure at the most upstream point of the falls and a bypass chute to help juvenile salmon complete their journey to the Pacific. Our stewardship is also exemplified through the work we do with our partners as part of our environmental responsibility at the falls while working to preserve its storied history and truly rich culture. We know our partnerships are crucial in the work that we do and those 
those partnerships are valued tremendously by PGE. We recognize the incredible work of the community-based organizations that work on the front lines making Oregon a better, more equitable place to live, work, and play. From environmental stewardship organizations to cultural organizations such as the Museum of the Oregon Territory and the Willamette Falls Heritage Area Coalition, PGE, and the PGE Foundation are committed to supporting community-based efforts to improve the quality of life in the communities that we serve and our roots don't get any deeper than Oregon City and West Lynn. We look forward to being a part of visioning what this place will be in decades to come, a place that reflects and honors its history and provides opportunities for all people to enjoy regardless of their race, ethnicity, gender, or socioeconomic background. And on that note of partnerships, I'd like to say that uh, we are working closely with uh, the, Legacy, the Legacy Project, the Legacy Falls Project, um, staying apprised of, of their efforts and their progress. And we are also collaborating uh, with the city of West Lynn. Um, we have recently, West Lynn has started a visioning process in 2017. Uh, we had asked that we be part of that and we went back and did our own analysis for the West Lynn side. Uh, which also involved an economic analysis. We evaluated the buildings that were on the site. Uh, the points of access and the transportation. Uh, we've been sharing that information with the city and all the stakeholders and uh, the people that are directly uh, associated or have direct connections with the falls. Uh, I'd like to also say that we are doing a lot of visioning like the, the Oregon City site did, not probably quite to the extent that Oregon City site did, but we're trying to reach out to everybody. Uh, we've organized uh, two public forums that are coming up, uh, one on May 30th and one on June 20th. Uh, and in between, we'll have two public online forums as well.